Rafael Nadal vs Taylor Fritz is a second group stage match for the ATP Finals for 2022. And both players have had interesting seasons to get to this stage. Fritz started the year off as the number 23 player in the world, and after capturing the biggest title of his life in Indian Wells, rocketed into the top 10 before settling at number 9 in the world to get into the finals. His regular season record was 43 wins, 19 losses, winning three titles from the three finals that he's played, including Indian Wells, which is the biggest title of his career. He also won in Eastbourne and in Tokyo a few months ago. His best win was against Rafael for Nadal, the number four in the world at the time, at Indian Wells in that final. So Indian Wells, a massive moment there for Fritz in his career. And his worst loss was actually at the US Open, losing to a qualifier, ranked 303 in the world, fellow American Holt. So a big upset there for Fritz from what has been a phenomenal season. Rafa started the year off at number six in the world after missing most of 2021 due to injury. And after winning two slams to start the year and a bunch of other titles, he settled in at number two in the world, heading into these finals. Again, it was an injury plague season, so Rafa didn't play that many matches winning 38 and losing 6 so not as many matches as probably some of the younger younger guys but he did make the most of his time on court winning 4 out of 5 finals that he played including the Australian Open an event in Melbourne before the Australian Open Acapulco and of course the French Open but has been on and off the court with injury since then his best win beating the world number 1 Novak Djokovic at the French Open in one of the best matches of the tournament and his worst loss was actually in Cincinnati against Borna Choric who was 152 in the world at the time now we all know Choric went on to win that tournament maybe in hindsight not his worst loss, but still, by ranking, it is the lowest player that Rafa has lost to this season. These two have played three times before and actually played twice this year with Fritz getting the win at Indian Wells and, of course, Rafa winning their epic match at Wimbledon only a couple months ago. If Fritz is going to win this one, he needs to use the conditions to his advantage. He will be the better player on the faster surface and on the indoor courts. We did see that he did actually win on the slower courts and lost on the grass courts at Wimbledon, but I think Fritz has got weapons that will push Rafa around and bully him around. If Rafa's going to win, it does come down to fitness. Unfortunately, Rafa being 36 years old, everything comes down to whether his body is going to cooperate or not. We know at his best, he can beat everybody in the draw, but he's going to have to be fit enough to beat Fritz because we did see a couple weeks ago, he did suffer from some sort of illness against Tommy Paul losing in three sets. This is going to be a very interesting match because again, like I said, we don't know exactly how physically fit Rafa is. Is he 100%? Is he coming in with something? We'll find out, I guess, on Sunday. But I'm going to go with Rafa to win this one. I just trust Rafa in the big moments. And look, this is Fritz's first time at the ATP Finals. He's going to be a little bit more nervous. So I'm going to go with Rafa to get through in a very close three-setter. But let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this first match?